All right there, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Uh, my name is Cliff Rosa with Rosa Media Productions, and I am just going to do a quick screencast of, uh, <clears throat> of how you uh, stream, set up a live streaming event in your uh, new school studio. Uh, this I primarily make these uh, screencasts for my clients that uh, I've set up a uh, streaming uh, live switching uh, video studio at their school and this is kind of to support their implementation but uh, if you're using Blackmagic Design uh, ATM, ATEM software control and YouTube live streaming it could come in handy for you too all right uh, so let's go ahead and take it from the top let's take it from the top here uh, you're going to on your uh, on your switching and streaming iMac, you're going to have OBS and ATEM software control started. OBS is where you start. <coughs> you're going <coughs> to, excuse me, turn on OBS. Now you'll notice actually that I'm uh, actually using OBS right now to make this program. But uh, buttons down here, you need to click the one that says start streaming. This one already is streaming, but uh, you want to click it, it'll say connecting, and then start streaming. All right. Then you're going to need to, uh, let's just clear this away for a second. On your desktop, uh, set your studio up. I tried to save a bookmark for your uh, YouTube dashboard. And so you'll give that a double click. And then that should pop up all the uh, videos that you've worked on, so which may not be very many if you're new to this. Uh, right over here is where it says live streaming. You're going to click that and you've got two choices at this point in time. We use events. So you're going to click events and you can actually see there's the event that I'm streaming right now recording this, but uh, that generally won't be the case. You're going to click new live event Okay, let's get that off the screen. And now you've got your new live event here. Uh, you need to give it a title. So for example, uh, Studio Test. Um, then you're going to change this to Unlisted. And th those are the two settings you make on this page. Next button is create event. You click create event, and we're actually done on that page. Notice that now you've got your four tabs up here, whereas before you only had the one tab. Okay, there on this uh, on this uh, page for settings, there's really only one setting. That's right here for select a stream, uh, BMD USMR to OBS. What I call it generally. Blackmagic Design Ultra Studio Media Recorder to uh, OBS. So you need to choose a stream. And we always go with the 720p stream here. All right. Click Save Changes. I always like to save the changes anyway. And then we're going to go to the Live Control Room. That's this tab here. Okay, click that. Now you're going to notice a nice big blue button that says preview. And your stream status, if you turned on OBS, your stream status should say good. If it doesn't say that, then you probably forgot to turn OBS uh, on and start the stream. Okay, I uh, tell you, you should always click preview here. Yes, I do want to preview it. That's, that's not starting it. But now we need to set up our link so that our, um, that our school can go watch it. So right over here, we're going to right click on this button. The button says View on Watch Page. Right click, and the choice, the fifth choice says Copy Link Address. Let's copy that link address. After you uh, get the link to the watch page, then 
on your desktop, I generally try to save a um, save a link to the broadcast list. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, open that up. This cool broadcast list. You're going to go ahead and uh, I can't remember what we called it. Let's call it. Uh, Broadcast test, I think is what we call it. I always coach you to give it a date too. And then Command V to paste, press enter so you turn it into a link. Remember, you're not giving editing access to everybody, so you'd need to turn it into a link for your school community. And after that, you're pretty much all set. Notice the button here says start streaming. And when you click on that, and you're two clicks away from actually going live, you click that, and if you press enter or click OK, you'll actually be live uh, streaming whatever happens to be coming out the program input or output of your uh, switcher. Uh, so <laughs> let's escape that. You want to make sure everybody's ready, keep an eye on the time so that you're broadcasting exactly what you mean to broadcast at the time that you mean to broadcast it. All right. Now, um, uh, remember, after you uh, count that down, and we're going live at 5, 4, 3, clicking OK, you're watching that time code tick up. The, uh, you, you, don't, you don't tell, you don't cue the media person to uh, advanced slides or to, for them to do their count until uh, you see the time code actually ticking up. And remember, as soon as that intro is playing, you need to switch over to your ATEM software control and start uh, being ready to TD things and uh, switch between the different camera inputs and things. All right, that's all for now. Uh, remember, the, the way to stop the stream is to go back to your browser, and there's going to be a red button that says stop streaming. All right, so uh, that's how you do a uh, live streaming <laughs> type of uh, event. Hope that's helpful. Hope it reminds you about what you're supposed to do. And uh, with that, uh, let's just go ahead and switch back here. Again, my uh, name is Cliff Rosa, and uh, my business is Rosa Media Productions. And uh, if you this video was helpful, please like it, please share it, and of course you can subscribe there, catch uh, my other uh, information on Twitter, other kinds of social media. But if you need, if you're an actual client uh, school, please get in touch with me uh, if you need more help at Cliff at RosaMediaProductions.com. I'll be happy to give you uh, some further tips. With that, let's go ahead and call it an evening. <laughs>